Hi, and welcome to Securely's SmartPak training video. In this video, we're going to discuss the installation process of our SmartPak vehicle, how it works, what platforms it can be deployed by, and instructions on how to do so. As we've talked about before in prior videos, Solutions Overview Securely would include our Chrome extension, our DNS and Selective Proxy solution, and also our SmartPak. Securely has actually taken the technology of a regular proxy auto configuration script, which you can see an example here of, and we have combined this technology with a set of intelligent APIs that allow us to selectively grab traffic. Traditional pack files basically instruct a device on where to send their traffic in explicit statements. Software changes on a daily basis or can change on a daily basis. And therefore, in order to operate your environment without issues, you constantly have to tune a proxy auto configuration file. And this is not very efficient. Marrying this technology with our DNS and selective proxy solution, our developers were able to create an API based system where a smart pack can be deployed as a vehicle, but then also intelligently decide whether it's going to send traffic to the securely cloud or not. The benefits of this are a lightweight, secure platform for getting devices filtered both on and off site. SmartPak can be deployed with various different methods Windows Active Directory, Intune, and even MDM platforms. Let's talk about deployment with Active Directory. Securely's knowledge base, found at support.securely.com, contains detailed instructions on how to deploy SmartPak in various different environments. The example we've provided here today is a very simple set of GPOs that create some registry settings that allow you to deploy SmartPak to your specific devices and users in your environment. There are essentially three GPOs that accomplish this. These GPOs can be deployed separately or they can be merged into one for efficiency. But essentially, they lock down the internet settings so that users can't change their proxy. There's an issue with older versions of IE in which redirect loops are patched and the smart pack itself, which is a simple URL, as you can see highlighted here. This is the actual proxy pack URL. It is not a file per se that's loaded logically on the device. It is a simple URL that points to a script, and this can be placed directly in the browser. Let's talk about a single device test before we get in too much further to Active Directory. If I wanted to open up settings of my browser just to test the filter, I could simply find the proxy settings in any browser, Chrome, IE, Edge, or Firefox, paste the script URL in here, make sure I have the securely certificate installed, and then I would be filtered on this device without actually having to fully deploy this through a managed platform. So this is very simple to test on a single device. You can find our certificates on the knowledge base as well and this covers all operating systems. Let's take a look at an actual Active Directory server that we have here that's organized properly and has the GPOs configured, as well as the Securely Certificate, which is used for SSL inspection. In this particular example, this Active Directory server has the Securely Cert. It is deployed at the top level, ensuring that all users and devices get this Cert, as the Cert is benign by itself and does not turn anything on. It is completely safe to deploy this before your discussion with a Securely engineer. The Securely Smart Pack settings are also broken down into three individual GPOs. As mentioned before, these can be combined into a efficient one GPO setting should you wish to do this. Our solutions overview has been concluded, and now we're going to talk about our device console and MDM platform. Now, whether or not you're using the Securely MDM or an MDM of your choosing, it is also possible to deploy our Smart Pack in that fashion as a global proxy. Let's take a look at the Securely Device Console platform and how the Smart Pack is deployed to different devices. In our MDM platform, this is done as a network profile. You'll notice that there are profiles for both Mac and iOS. For iOS, you simply create a profile and it is deployed under the global proxy setting as an auto configuration script. And you can also attach the certificate to this profile as well to allow our SSL decryption to function properly. There are two special options that we should denote for iOS. These options are capabilities that are very specific to iOS and provide some interesting opportunities. One of them is called proxy failback. 
If securely were ever to go down or under maintenance and the pack file is not reachable, this option is provided for administrators to allow the device to fail open. This is a decision that needs to be made by management and the IT department on whether that functionality is used. The second box in question that we should talk about is the proxy captive login. This box exists if there are situations in which a device will be taken to a captive portal network. Let's talk about an example. If you take a device to a hotel and want to jump on the wireless, you probably have to log in with your room and a combination of their password. Normally, if you have a proxy deployed, this would not be possible. This box allows the detection of a captive login, relaxes the filter, and then places the filter back when internet connectivity is established. If we're talking about OSX as a platform, there's a different settings section for OSX, but is still a simple platform that you can pick and it contains the proxy auto configuration area and also you can attach the cert. Notice that the URL of the proxy auto configuration script can be placed in the proxy pack URL. It'll all be set as auto. Thank you for listening to today's video on SmartPak installation. We hope this has been helpful.